All right, looks like we're getting in here. We've I got... do, my biggest thought right now is what range is Aaron Demac going to choose to play this at? Because you could elect to rush in, you know, even if Bridget has a yo yo set, try to rush in past it, make her block, interrupt her before she can get things going. Or you could chill out way further than that, try to rely on some of those Leo fireballs and uh, attempt to anti air her if she tries to go in on you. Aaron's uh, in game name has reminded me. Remember when this game came out and Sonic Fox was just the best Leo player and then just stopped playing? <laughs> and just laughed. Was like, I'm gonna go be awesome at other games. Real shit. Was like, I'm having fun and then went to play Skullgirls. <laughs> yeah. Happy June, everybody. We trans rights out here. Like a hundred percent. I mean, one, this is the one trans rights eating on the other trans rights out here. Bridget says, Bridget, Bridget, keeping trans rights down. Brutal stuff to see. Not this month. One bar on both sides here. Aaron wants to use it to get in. Look at... Oh, gets caught by the low there. This Bridget pressure is disgusting. It's just, there's no other word for it. Bridget does some pretty egregious war crimes against you whenever you have to block her. And more than that, look at those air buttons too. Like, those are no slouch either. Like, that character has uh, her choice from where she wants to play from, truly. Gigantic buttons and uh, crazy good mix and crazy good pressure. This character, Bridget pretty much does it all. She just does die very fast if she gets hit. She is the all-rounder, you know, and her, her bit is, you know, not having insane damage and having, you know, slightly uh, worse survivability than a lot of characters, but still has some decent defensive tools. Ooh, but Aaron, but ah, see, now I want to call him Sonic Fox. Dude, I messed myself up. <laughs> Sonic Fox, come back. We'll take it. <laughs> Aaron taking Yo-Yo Master down to one hit here, but this is still hard to approach for both both players here because no matter what no matter what you're doing, there's always the chance that you just get <laughs> there it is you get flash kicked. Right as I was giving that long build up into it, Aaron gets the flash kick kill. <laughs> you feel it coming. Yeah, it's like you feel bad for somebody taking Bridget pressure until all of a sudden Bridget is taking Leo pressure and you're like, ooh, ooh, now I feel gross. I mean, Leo is just the war criminal of the cast, honestly. <laughs> Leo has a lot going on in this kit, you know, and he has his access to back turn stance are also some very strong offensive options for him. Like, he's very good at tick throws, and that gets him in the back turn. I really like the 6P of the yo-yo there, because it... The 6P has less recovery than the yo-yo has block stun. Also, I think Bridget's dead here. Not quite. Hold but it's just hero. a really, really heads-up play there to... 6p and get some pressure in and really nice game there from Aaron. I like, you know, I've, I've answered my own question of what range is Aaron going to play this at? And it seems like they really want to play a, a sticky offense, you know, not give Bridget room or time to use some of her more long range options, really set up the Bridget offense, electing to stay in her face with those uh, incredibly high damage, good conversion Leo buttons. In the chat, everyone in this game is a war criminal except my character. I'm Very making that true. My, I'm making that my Discord status. I'm getting that tattooed on myself. <laughs> that is that is my motto. I'm trying to call it out with the uh, back turn B there, the parry. Oh, the step dash flash kick. I was Aaron is not perhaps the first, uh... overstaying their welcome and back turn stance here. I do appreciate when a Leo is really willing to give up back turn stance when they don't feel we'll get them anything more. I mean, uh, Leo's Leo's still a pretty insane character even without back turn stance. So <laughs> for sure, like he's got a lot in his kit. I mean, just the flash kick and fireball are incredibly powerful tools. Nice 2D there. This is a scary spot to be in for Yo-Yo Master. Look at that, already half health, and now having to block back turn, but jumps out of it. You jumped against back turn P, and it worked. Unprecedented <laughs> footage here. That is the best 6P in the game. I actually did go in and lap some Leo, and I'm gonna be honest, the back turn stand stuff is really cool. Like, he's he gets the old Gatlings where he goes punch, kick, slash, heavy slash. It's it's pretty cool. It feels good. I I understand Leo players. I simply don't agree with them. I just, I just think they're insane, but I definitely understand why this character could be fun. Eric's moving a little bit too much, going into danger there. Gets six feet out for trying to be aggressive. 
it's tough. Yo-Yo Master is doing a great job of Ooh, playing in a range that is so frustrating to air and trying to stay right in that mid-range. <laughs> and just the full-screen sprint to close that one out. Sometimes you gotta send a message, but you know, Yo-Yo Master, to their credit, was really trying to stand where all of Leo's buttons that are safe will whiff, you know, really trying to make Aaron rely on things like the run-through, like 2D, which are powerful tools, but predictable, punishable, perhaps. I mean, Yo-Yo Master's playing this incredibly, but I think there's just a correlation to how insane a Leo player is and how well they do, and Aaron Demac is just kind of completely insane, so... <laughs> Aaron Demack is, is very nice with it. And also, you gotta think, you know, Bridget's pressure can be so suffocating, but Leo's right there. Leo's reward off of hits, especially those fat counter hits, are gonna really turn the game in his favor. And also, Bridget ha cannot leave a gap in her pressure because Leo has the best gap punisher in the entire game. The gap in question. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm really feeling, I'm understanding Leo players, we're playing a bit of DJ in Street Fighter, and I'm just flash kicking during pressure, and I'm like, I get it. Does DJ have a flash kick? Yes, oh, sir. I don't even know that. Uh, I've been playing JP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of BM there with the two. No, no, it was a, I, I didn't think it was gonna connect. I just, I, I didn't expect the uh, OTG. But yeah, I mean, it's not actual BM, it's just like... This might be a good lord. Finally calling it out with the run away. I'm probably trying to bait a DP here. Aaron has been pretty free with the flash kick. Joe the Master definitely anticipating that kind of thing. Nice punish on that move. That move is negative, but I've been hit too many times by flash kick after that to not be scared. <laughs> <laughs> nice YRC getting out. It's really scary to YRC that. Or yeah. to back turn pressure, but... Just because sometimes you just get killed when you're pressing it. This is dead, too. Really impressive there from Aaron. Nice 3-0. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what we expect to see when we see Aaron show up. Yeah, Aaron no slouch for sure. It's it's tough, you know. A lot of people will describe back turn stance as like a meter tax, and Yo-Yo Master going with sort of the most certain version of that, just electing to wire see it straight up, but then unable to, you know, finish the defensive play to truly make it out of those dangerous situations and regain the tempo of the game.